Hey folks, Andy here, and welcome to another This Month at Mantic, your monthly helping of Mantic news to keep you feeling like you've got an inside spy friend feeding you the juicy bits. What? No way is it June already, we just had Christmas. What's that? Yep, apparently it is June, and that means we're heading towards the halfway point of 2024, and that gives us a chance to have a bit of a look back at how much has happened already, and a bit of a look forward to some exciting stuff coming up. Well, isn't it a good idea that I did just that when I chatted with Ronnie recently and you can see and hear for yourself a bit of a mid-year update straight from the man himself. With June comes the start of summer, well at least it does here in the UK, and that can only mean the summer of sci-fi is upon us. You may have seen we kicked things off with a little mood setting trailer and followed it up by our MaisonLabs.com website, where if you could solve the puzzles, you'd have been rewarded with some leaked images of what was to come. If you didn't manage to hack the system, then you could at least see all of the new models in their terrifying glory with our Night Stalkers reveal trailer. That's right, our friends at Maison Labs seem to have been messing around with things that just don't concern them and have unwittingly brought forth the horrors of the Night Stalkers through the void. This faction is coming to both Firefight and Dead Zone, and not only have these beautiful models gone up for pre-order for Firefight first, but you can already access the Night Stalkers Firefight beta stats on the Mantic Companion, so you can start building your lists ready to take down your unsuspecting foes. We'll be following up with the Dead Zone Night Stalker editions very soon with some Dead Zone specific boxes and stats to make sure you can get a squad up and running as quickly as possible. Looking ahead, we also have some new Asterian models heading your way to both Firefight and Dead Zone with a very nice new two player set coming too. So make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so that you'll get to see the contents of that amazing new box as soon as we show it off to you. Continuing with the summer of sci-fi, we've been teaming up with some of the best loved Mantic podcasts out there to bring you some sci-fi goodness. So make sure to check out that list of them in the description of this video to see what the awesome community folks think about the Mantic sci-fi universe and our latest additions to it. I'll be bringing you some videos over the summer to help both you and newer players to get started into our sci-fi games, and I'll be showing you just how easy it is to get your first models to the table and get playing. So no matter if you're new to Mantic's games, or you just fancy a new firefight army, there'll be something for everyone to help you start growing your local Mantic sci-fi community. We'll also be having a sci-fi summer campaign coming up too, where both new and existing players can get involved, so make sure you stay tuned for that. As you can see, there's a ton of stuff happening in our Warpath universe, and that didn't include the fact that the Pledge Manager is open for Epic Warpath. So whether you're still deciding how to spend your pledge, or you want to get in now with a late pledge, head over to pledge.manticgames.com and you can start your journey into Epic Warpath 2. So what about our other sci-fi universe, that of Halo Flashpoint? Well, whilst you might think things have been a bit quiet of late, you couldn't be further from the truth. We're gearing up here in the background getting the game produced, and we're also getting ready to build up to launch. We want you to come on the Halo Flashpoint journey with us, starting this month when we travel all the way to Denmark to challenge the folks over at Army Painter to a painting and gaming showdown. Ronnie the Rocket Renton and Bo the Brawler Penstoff have been assembling their chosen teams to clash against one another with Halo Flashpoint being the battle of choice. With amazing quality miniatures that need no assembly and a game system that's easy to pick up and play, what better game to throw down the challenge with? Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel to see just what happens when the two giants of the tabletop gaming world clash. We'll be showing you painting tips, gameplay footage, alongside a few laughs, so there's a little something for everyone. Moving on to our Panathor world, and folks have begun to get their copies of Dungeon Saga Origins, ready to get it played over the summer. We think it's a perfect game for both family gaming as well as your more experienced gaming friends, so don't forget the first expansion, Glimmer of Greed, is also available now, and the Digital Overlord, which allows you to truly play co-op or solo without the spoilers, is also updated to include this new expansion. I'll pop a link in the video's description for both the Glimmer of Greed expansion and the totally free Digital Overlord, so go and check those out. Last month we had a competition across our socials for folks who subscribe to our newsletter, our Facebook page and over here at YouTube. Well the winner of the YouTube entry is at Robert Watson 1985. 
We'll be reaching out to get your details, Robert, so congrats to you and thanks to everyone for entering. We'll have more giveaways in the near future too, so stay subscribed. This month's Vault Editions have dropped too, and what an amazing collection we've put together for you lucky Vault subscribers. For Kings of War fans, we have some Orc and Goblins goodies. Starting off with the amazing Orc Crudger on Winged Slasher, and the Rift Forged Orc Stormbringer on Winged Slasher, which are both the entire full models. Next, we have some upgrades for the Slasher model, with the Gekatoa Slasher upgrades and the Goblin Slasher upgrades. Rounding out the Kings of War models, we have all three variants of the Rift Forged Orc Thunderseers. Handsome lads they are too. If your tastes are more for the sea, then June sees some Abyssal Dwarf ships sailing in for Armada. This month we have the Angkor, the Black Souls, the Decimator, the Infernox, and my personal pick of the bunch, the Katsuchan. Now that's all well and good, but what I consider to be the crowning glory of June's Vault Editions is the Dead Zone playable strike team, the Hand of the Seven. These amazing, glorious models, plus a nice prone token, are a fully playable squad, so for those of you who want to be 3D printing with a purpose, get these on your build plates and get them played over the summer of sci-fi, and who I will be. The stats for this team are available in our free Mantic Companion, along with the free rules, so you've got no excuses to not give Dead Zone a go this summer. And if that doesn't sweeten the deal enough, then have some sci-fi scatter terrain too. We're too good to you, we really are. That's it for this month at Mantic. Join us next time to see what those Asterians are up to and find out who won the duel in Denmark. See you next time.